Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. United Kingdom. Lunar Phases Title. The search for the silver sphere once upon a time, in the heart of United Kingdom, in the bustling city of London, lived a curious and adventurous young man named Alfred. He was a well-respected professor at Oxford University, specializing in astronomy. Despite his many achievements and accolades, there was one mystery that consumed him above all else, the lunar phases. Alfred's fascination with lunar phases began when he discovered an ancient manuscript hidden within his grandfather's library. The manuscript hinted at a mysterious power associated with each phase of the moon. It spoke of an artifact known as the Silver Sphere, which supposedly harnessed this power and could bring about prosperity or disaster, depending on its use. His curiosity peaked. Alfred dedicated himself to uncovering more about this mystical artifact and its connection to lunar phases. He pored over countless books, consulted experts from around the world, conducted experiments, but to no avail. One day, while researching ancient Celtic rituals related to lunar phases at British Museum's Archives Department, he stumbled upon another clue. An old map from medieval times depicted Stonehenge along with certain symbols that matched those found in his grandfather's manuscript. Fueled by this new lead, Alfred journeyed towards Stonehenge during next full moon night. As moonlight bathed over those monolithic stones casting eerie shadows across them, Alfred placed himself at center, aligning with those symbols marked on map. As he followed instructions written on parchment under full moonlight, something magical happened. A holographic image of Silver Sphere appeared above him. The sphere had inscriptions that represented each phase of moon, new moon, waxing crescent, first quarter, waxing gibbous, full moon, waning gibbous, last quarter, and waning crescent. Alfred deduced that perhaps these were not just mere representations, but somehow connected to actual lunar cycle affecting our lives mysteriously through tidal forces, biological rhythms, and even historical events. In his quest to decode these symbols, Alfred found himself delving deeper into the lunar phases. His search took him to ancient druid circles in Scotland, mystical caves in Wales, and even to remote monasteries in Ireland where monks followed a lunar calendar. The Silver Sphere was no longer just an artifact for him. It had become a symbol of his journey towards understanding our deep-rooted connection with Moon's phases. It represented knowledge lost over centuries which he was determined to uncover for mankind's benefit. Through Alfred's relentless search, the 